Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and welcome to my radio room for a brief ham shack chat about using Auto Connect with WinLink Express while using the Vara HF modem. This video assumes that you already have WinLink and Vara HF up and running. If you need to review how to set up WinLink, this video shows you how to do it with the Yesu FT891. This video shows you how to do it with the Yesu FT991A. And this video shows you how to set up WinLink and Vara HF using a Kenwood TS890. You can view any of these videos and just jump ahead if I may jump ahead to the WinLink and Vara HF setup as they are all the same. I might put together a radio agnostic setup video. If you'd like to see something like that, please let me know down in the comments. He comments on his own comment. We're going to open up our WinLink, which is this little checkerboard icon. We're going to open our session with Vara HF WinLink set there. Now you'll notice that this is a registered version of VARA TNC that can operate at full speed. You don't have to have the registered version to use WinLink with VARA HF. However, I would encourage you to pay the little fee and get a registered version. The reason is, right now my maximum signal bandwidth is 2300. That's what you get with the registered version. If you do not have a registered version, you're going to need to make some changes. So we're going to come up here to settings. We're going to go to auto connect setup. And right here is the minimum VARA bandwidth. You've got multiple selections, high speed, 2300, 2750, but we're going to set it for 500 and we'll save that. Now you see my maximum signal bandwidth is still set to 2300 and to change that, we come up here to the VARA TNC setup and we change it here to 500. We'll do an update and everything is going to reset. And it comes up with a maximum signal bandwidth of 500. So just to show you what this does for you, when you come up here under channel select and we'll take it up here to the top, you'll see that there are different speeds shown. You've got a 2300 here, all these 500s. Here's a 2750 right here. When you click this auto connect with your maximum bandwidth set at 500, it will be looking at these V500 modes. If you go high speed, then yes, you get the 2300s, you get the 500s, you get the 2750. All of these are applicable. If you're enjoying this or learning something new, Please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. This is fun. Isn't this is fun. Now we're going to take a look at setting up for Auto Connect. We want to start by coming up here to Channel Selector, and then we're going to Update via Internet. In normal operations, about once a week, you'll get a pop up, and that pop up will say, Hey, do you want to update your channel selector? Always say yes, it doesn't take that long. And we're going to click on this button, update via the internet. And you'll see right here, it's downloading information and now it's going through all of them. You can also update via radio. That is using WinLink to get a new file upload here. It works, but it's a huge file and it can take you up to an hour to download that file. So we don't want to do that. And we have now completed our update and we have a fresh list of all the RMSs out there. We'll close that. I'm going to go to settings, come down here to the auto connect setup. First off, minimum Pactor level. I've played with this. I really don't see much of a difference across the board, but P3 works for me. Because I'm pretending not to have a registered copy, I'm using the minimum VARA bandwidth of 500 hertz. I don't want to consider any path qualities under 40, so I've selected 40. Minimum distance away, 
I like to keep it in close, so I pick two kilometers. That means the closest RMS to me will be at least two kilometers away. The rest of these are kind of housekeeping things and you can play with them. I wouldn't go lower than two. I like three in seconds for status to settle and seconds not busy. And you'll find that when you're actually running the auto connect, that's how long it can take for each new RMS chosen to actually start downloading. We're gonna save this and we're ready to move on. Help me get the word out about this and other videos on this channel by sharing. Sharing is good. With friends and cohorts in the ham radio community, especially on social media. I've just written myself an email and that email has a subject of 500 Hertz demo. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to enter the auto connect sequence. I'm going to click on auto connect and then I'm immediately going to click on my stopwatch and then right after that I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video so you don't have to hang out for the whole few minutes that it's going to take to send. And here we go. So from the time that I clicked auto connect, processed the email upload, and went through the disconnect process was three minutes and 21 seconds. So I've written a second email and uploaded it to my outbox. And that has a subject of demo 2300 Hertz. And this is a demonstration email using WinLink Express and the Vara HF TNC set to 2300 Hertz bandwidth. It is going to my home email address. So same as before, auto connect, start the stopwatch, and let's see where things fall at 2300 Hertz. Make it so. This time, that same process took us two minutes and 31 seconds. So let's go take a look at my home email. And you can see I have both of these here. I'm going to just reply to this 2300 and I'm going to click on reply. Message received in two minutes and 31 seconds. Good demo. I'm now going to send this and it's going back to my nd3n at winlink.org account. And the message has been sent. We're back on our winlink. I still have a maximum bandwidth of 2300 hertz. I'm going to click on auto connect and start my timer. And let's see how well this one goes. We're receiving the email I just sent from my Gmail account. So, 2 minutes and 34 seconds to receive that email. And let's come over here to my inbox and read it. You can see that it copied my original message and sent my current message, which is message received in 2 minutes and 31 seconds. Good demo. And I agree. That's a good demo, and that's the end of the demos. If you would like to test out your system, please send me an email at the 
address shown below using WinLink Express and I'll send you a reply. I check my WinLink emails first thing every morning as I'm sipping on my first cup of coffee. Coffee? I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it all together for you. And I'm also looking forward to reading and answering your emails. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I am at your service. This has been a Hamshack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. What's next?